Uh, don't have your cameras off, please, if you don't mind. I have all the cameras on here. You guys can mute yourself from your side, but if you have the cameras on, it'll be easy for me to know who you are. Kevin, you're sitting in your car and you're doing it today. I can see Kevin sitting in his car. Naughty, naughty Kevin. Mm. I'll be recording these videos and I'll be putting it in a private YouTube videos. Only you guys will be, I'll be sending the link to only you guys. So only if you miss something here, you can have a look at the videos here. Yeah? So it won't be a public video. It'll be a private one with the link. Only you guys will be able to see it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I will be recording that in a while. I don't know where my studio is gone. It's here. So it'll be only you guys and I'll be sending the link afterwards. So it won't be a private video like you can see online. If you go on that video, it'll say that as it's private one. So only the kids with the link will be able to have a look at the video. So we need to wait for others to come in. The time is five o'clock. And I have more people join me. Who has just joined me? And I got one disconnected. I have some dark screens here. I'm just looking. Who looks familiar to me? Nobody else looks familiar to me. Kevin is there who looks familiar to me. And we ask looks similar to me, Siddharth. Who else looks familiar to me? Did any one of you see our YouTube videos? It's only two of them. Yeah, I saw them. I know. You just told me before. Only you. So sad now. Nah? Nobody else? We got 17 people coming. So next week, we might be distributing you guys in two groups. But today, I just want to know how good you all are. So if you guys can manage in this big group, we'll continue with this one. If not, then we'll just try to do something. So before everybody comes, I can start with you guys. Have you guys ever done any creative writing before? Yeah. You have? Yeah. Do you like creative writing or you don't like? No, not that you like, much. You don't like it. I hope. Are you doing all four weeks or you're just doing one week? Um, Four weeks. So maybe after four weeks, you start liking it. Yeah? Yeah. Have my fingers crossed if you do. One, two, three, four. Where's everybody else? We should... Let me see what I can do. I'm waiting for this to come. Okay. I'm just thinking, should I wait two more minutes for everyone to join in? It's not a hard thing to join in. Should we start or you want to wait for others? It's up to you guys. What do you want to do?
We got another one. Let's see, another one has come. So we are getting people coming. Neha has just joined. You don't need to wear a mask. I know, but for you guys, I'm in and out of other. So let's wait. I think so. Some people have joined you guys now. So let's see. You can mute your mic. Uh, if you have your mics on, you can mute it from your side. It's really easy to mute your mics. Everybody's coming now. So we can start now, can't we? Uh, please have your cameras on because I need the cameras to be on because it looks nice if I can see your faces, then I can only see your names. No? Because when you go to school, you guys show your faces to your teachers, don't you? Please, Neha, can I have your camera on? Thank you. So we have all the cameras. Tanya has got this connected now. She's here. There's, there's a button on the side. If you guys want to mute yourself, mute, unmute. You all can mute yourself. It's really easy to mute yourself. From your side, if you want to do it. Okay. So as I told you, I'm going to do, I'm going to record this. I'm going to send you guys a link to your parents. So you can see what we did after the class. The links will be only be will be a private video. It will be only be visible to you guys. No one else on YouTube. So I'll, I'm recording it now. I'll post it after the class, maybe after an hour or so. So give me some time to put it, give it to you guys. So this will be a private video. It won't be like anyone. Uh, won't be able to see it. Only you guys who have the link will be able to see it. So it will be like that. Yeah. So I have, I have Koval here. If you see, she just joined in. She will be the one who will be helping me today with you guys. Yeah. So let's get started now because all of you almost one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I'm still waiting for fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, four more people. They can join and afterwards it's fine. So let's get started. Let me just start recording for you guys. Okay, it's started to go now. Welcome everyone. Welcome to the creative writing class one. So first of all, we'll start with telling you how to, it's basically the main thing about creative writing is to tell you guys how to use a corrector, how to have a corrector. So basically creating a corrector in the uh, creative writing is the most important thing. So whenever you think about creative writing, you have to think about how would you create a corrector? Yeah. So corrector could be anything. Like if you have a creative writing about, write about a football. So the character for you guys would be a football. So how would you describe a football? So these are the things you have to be really careful when you start doing a creative writing. So as some of you told me, you have done creative writing before. So I want to ask, did you guys have ever done creative writing before? Or this is your first time you guys are doing it? I've done it many times. You've done many times. That's good. 
so if I you guys have so if you guys are new in creative writing i would say that you should go back to our youtube videos because we have done a lot of a lot of videos last year we used to do a lot of videos about creative writing just have a look at that videos because we have covered all the topics in that videos and it'll be good for you all to just have a look and see what we have covered in the videos so today we will be uh, we will be doing different things every week so if you are doing one week, so you will be doing this. Another week, you will be doing something else. So some of you have done two weeks, and some of you have done all four weeks. So in all four weeks, we'll be telling you how to create, how to write creative writing, basically. So the first thing about creative writing is how to create a character. So you have to think about a character, how to create. In this one, they have told you the things what you need when you create a character. So when you think about a character, like I told you, if you're writing about football, uh, my football or something, or writing about my first day at school. This is something which is very famous one, very common one, not famous one, very common one. My first day at school. So there are different things they can tell you. Like here they are saying, when you create a character, you have to think about what is a simile. You know what similes are? Do you guys know what it is? They have given you an example here. Yeah. It tells you that, okay, I'll ask you guys in a second. Like, here the here it is the night is like a dark blanket covering the sky so it's not realistic have you ever seen a night is like a dark blanket have you seen a uh, they have just it's just, never, it's it's just a comparison yeah just a comparison basically so we'll give you guys a minute we want to want you to write about as many similes you guys know for us and we'll ask each one of you now yeah so have a piece of paper with all of have a piece of paper all of you just keep writing what we keep saying you like what is a simile so you need to write about it just write yeah, as many as then we can ask you guys yeah. and remember the ones yeah write down a few examples of using a simile yeah in a character basically no So we'll be able to tell them on a metaphor, so we can start doing. They can write both of them together. Then. Sorry, did someone say something? Sorry, was it? I thought someone said something. No, I think so. So you guys have to think about what us think about it and write it down for us. Then we'll ask each one of you to give us some examples of them, and I'll tell you what a metaphor is and. Then, uh, it's, it's similar to that one. It's a night is as dark blanket covering the buildings. So buildings have, they told the buildings, they're like blankets covering the buildings. So this time they don't use the word like or as like they do in simile. They talk yeah. about it like it's real, but you know, it's not. So just write down a few examples of using similes and metaphors and then we'll ask you guys. If you're ready, just say it. I have one. Yeah. The boy's shoes was as green as luscious, luscious leaves. Let's take our yeah. first page here. We can write it down here. Come on to write it down. Some uh, of the ones they use. Yeah. The boy's shoes. Hold on. Where's the text? Was as Boys, shoes was as green, luscious leaves. Luscious leaves. Luscious leaves. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Luscious. Right. Luscious greens. What is? Luscious. Luscious. Yeah. 
I'm just looking for me to get it. Really unfamiliar one. That's good. Okay. Anybody else? I got one. Yeah. The moon was a ghostly galleon. Okay, that's a metaphor then, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, should we do this in a nice fast? Should we do both of them? Yeah, just do both of them, it's fine. Okay. All right, can you repeat that for me? I, I have to say, the moon was a ghostly galleon. Anybody else? I have a simile. Yes, Kevin, say. The train was as fast as the... What? Kevin, can you repeat it again? The train was as fast as a... Was fast as a... Peter. Peter. That doesn't make sense. The train was as fast as a pizza. A cheetah. Oh, cheetah. A cheetah. Oh, I heard pizza and I was like, what? Train is as fast as a pizza. Maybe, Kevin, I'm hungry, yeah? No? You're saying cheetah and I'm, I'm listening pizza. What about the girls? I'm ready for the girls to give me one. I have one. Yeah? Speak. The girl was a ray of sunshine. That's a metaphor, yeah. Was a ray of sunshine. Anyone else? Tanya, uh, you will have your hands up. You can unmute yourself and give us one. Um, my sister is a beautiful is as beautiful as a princess. Did you say my sister? Yeah. It's very sweet. Anybody else? I think so. Who's left? Tanya has left and Neha has not given us one. So we know who will, who is left. Shivika, you can unmute yourself and you can give us one. I can see your hand was up. Unmute yourself from your side. It's the same way as you muted yourself. You can do the same way. The shirt, the shirt looks like a blanket. Okay. Vidanshal, Vansal, I think so you are the one who's left. Can you give me one, please? No, Are you just give us one? No, I Oh, yes, you have given one, right, remember. You have given one. Who's left then? Tanya? Yeah, give. Yeah. Oh. Oh, can we not hear her? Or is she not saying? Oh, you've uh, muted Mohammed. Can you unmute him? He's written in the chat. He wants to say. Yeah, I'll unmute him. Go yeah. on then, Mohammed. Do you want to give us an example? Yeah. Uh, the sun was a bright plate in the sky. The sun was a bright what? Plate in the sky. Plate. Okay. As a Lakshman wants to give you one, Komal. All right. Raise his hand. The dog was like a kangaroo pouncing about.
Okay, guys, let's move on now. You guys know you're giving us a lot now, right? One. Yeah. Okay, you won't have the last one then. Come on. The yeah. oven was burning like a robot malfunctioning. The oven was burning like a robot malfunctioning. Yeah. Okay. Well done, everyone. All of you did really well. So let's move on to the next one. So we have this character now. So you have to describe him now with different different adjectives. Adjectives also is eyes. I love his eyes. What does man look like? Let's first see what this man look like. Then we can describe him. Yeah. So it's the same way like you described in the previous one. You just made your own, but now. It's related to this man, this one. So you have to describe his mouth. This one shows about his mouth here. This one is about his mouth. This is about his eyes. So you can use any three of them. You can use a similes, metaphors, or adjective to describe him. Yeah. So first of all, before doing that, what do you think about this man? What do you think he looks like? Let's just see how he looks like first um does he look uh, scary does it look i don't know how he looks like he looks the way he is looking at me looks a little scary um i know yeah, yeah. Um, i recognize this character because it's from a movie and yeah it is. A pirate. he's a pirate mm -hmm. good um the reason he has is because he's he's giving us like a stink eye, which means that he's that he's staring at us in at a like a bad way. Yeah, <laughs> he's staring at a bad way. Okay. <laughs> what else can you tell about this character? What do you think this character looks like? If you look at this oh. character, look at his eyes. It looks like he's staring at me. Come on, man, stop staring. No. And he's and he's also wearing a bandana. You, I think you must have seen his movie. You know so much about him, no? Yeah, yeah. It's a very famous movie. Carrots the um, Okay, so, so look at wherever yeah. the arrows are pointing, and then write a sentence to describe that. So the arrow is pointing at his eye. Write a descriptive sentence about the eye, and then there's one on his hair, under the lips, and his clothes on the arm. Tango doesn't have on his mustache. How would they describe his mustache? <laughs> I think that's on the list. Soft as snow. What? As soft as snow, his mustache. As soft as snow. <laughs> it can't be. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> um, I think it's it's rough. I think his mustache should be rough. Okay, don't okay. don't write right, right mustache. Down. Let's leave uh, let's leave the mustache away. Because it doesn't show the arrow to describe that. So you it's have one arrow on his eyes, one on his nose, one on his lips, one is on his hair, and one looks on his clothes, right, Pumal? Yeah. Yeah. So these are the things they are pointing out. So your time starts now. Should we put a timer for you guys? Or you want to do it on your own? How do you guys? Okay. Let's start with the eyes first. Describe his eyes. All of you write something about his eyes. Then I'll ask you guys. So Komal, we can just write it down here where the eyes show. No? Yeah. So you can use adjective to describe his eyes. Yeah. A metaphors like you guys used before. But I think so they didn't use so much of metaphors in the previous one. We got two metaphors, the rest is similar. Yeah. I think. So try using uh, them more. I finished. That's good. You can move on to the next one until they all do that. And I'll describe his hair, the mouth, and the clothes. You could move on to the next one. So we can, if you guys are done, we can keep asking you guys. we start are you guys ready 
you know we always do in our tuition we always say them show me your thumbs up if you guys are ready so do you guys want to show me your thumbs up are you ready i could see your pencil <laughs> then your thumbs up no looks like all of you are ready yeah you can just unmute yourself and speak yeah, yeah. okay yeah. one last anyone let's start now Okay, so the person that raised his hand, uh, Faya Siddharth, I'm oh, sorry. I think so. I have a question. Ariman. Ariman, where are you? you the one who's going on ra raising hand. So unmute yourself and give us an answer for. I have, um, I just say one, it's from the eye. Yeah, we are starting with the eye only. Yeah. His eyes were as cunning as a fox. Sorry? Yeah, that's, that's a good one. Yeah. His, his eyes were... Okay, go on. His eyes were as cunning as a fox. I think someone said they had a question on the chat. Let me see. Oh, okay. It's fine. Yeah, that was a pretty good one. His eyes are as cunning as a fox. Anyone else? You can speak. Just unmute I'm, yourself. I have one for his head. Oh. Okay, I, have, I have one for his head. Yes, okay, Kevin, Kevin, just a minute. We are going with the eyes first, Kevin. Yeah? Uh, his, his, eyes, describe his eyes. His eyes were as fierce as a lion. Okay. Anyone I, else? I have one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The the pirate's eyes were as dark as night. You can know it is midnight if you want. Okay. And so the girls wants to say, who wants to say? You can unmute yourself. Then you can unmute yourself and give us. Yeah. I have one. Yeah. Go on. Yeah, go on. Go on, we're waiting. If you have one to say, you can just unmute yourself and say it. Yeah, I have one. The pirate's eyes were as creepy as Halloween decorations. Oh, that's a good one as well. Let me add that. The pirate's... Can I say one? Yeah, yeah just a second, yeah. His eyes were as sharp as the end of a sword. Oh, yeah. As sharp. The end of his sword. Okay, let's start with your this enough of eyes now. Let's start with the nose now. Yeah. So try to think about the nose now. I'll be give you some time. Write about his nose and we'll ask you guys. I have one for his nose. Okay, nose. Okay. 
His nose was as big as a banana. As big? Yes. Okay. Nose was as big as a banana. I have I one. got one. The one? Uh, oh, my, we can't see it. There's one hill. You can write doing it here somewhere. Yeah. You can get hill. You get you get the nose hill. We okay. have space hill. Can you see it? Yeah. So we have put the nose there now. Okay. So we are writing about the nose there now. Okay, Kevin, did you say you had one? Yeah. His nose. Yeah. His nose was a pointy stick. That's a metaphor, great. I got one. Go on, what do you think about that? So, it's... The first nose was as pointy as a knife. Nose was... But it's not as well as pointy as a knife. Anybody else with a nose? I got one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. His nose was as small as a peanut. Yeah. I have one. Yep. His nose was as his nose was a brown slide. Okay. We are getting a lot of noise in between. Can you please uh, mute your uh, microphone, whoever it is? And I got one. Yeah, go on. His his nose is as smooth as an apple. Is that as what as an apple? His nose is as smooth as an apple. Smooth. Okay. Okay. Okay, we are done with the nose now. Let's start with his. I've got one. Okay, last one then. Even I've got one. Okay, you can say them. I don't have any more space to write it down though because it's covered. But you can say them out loud. What are your sentences? Um, his nose was as pointy as a sword. Okay, good one. And the second one, the second person that said you had one. No, I don't have any answers. Okay, now the next one is the lips. The tip of his nose was as pointy as a sword. Yeah, that's a good one as well. So let's start with the uh, lips now. Try describing his lips now, all of you. Just write something about his lips, yeah? Uh, please, when we tell you guys to write, we, I want all of you to be looking down and writing in a sheet of paper or something, yeah? I've got one for his lips. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, Kevin. His lips was as, his lips were shut like a locked door. Shut like a locked door? What? Okay, so he closed his lip, but locked. But that doesn't make more, that doesn't make sense, Let's Kevin. See if you can think of a better one. Okay. Um, I've got one. Yeah. Because you cannot say the lips like a shut door. Go on. Um, his lips was as plump as a peach. Yeah, it's a good one. I've got one. I've got one. I've got one. Yeah. His lips was as dry as a desert. Can I say one? 
Phillips are as hard as a rock. His lips are as hard as a. I've got one. Yeah. yeah. I've got one. The pirate's lips were as rough as a concrete floor. I got one. I don't know, there's a lot of noise. I have. Yeah, go on. I, I got one. Yeah, yep. see it. His lips was as still as a statue. I've okay. got. Okay, see, 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 it's fine. His lips were as small as a mustard seed. Sorry, I didn't hear that one. His lips were what? His lips were as, I didn't hear it. Small as a mustard seed. As a mustard seed, okay. So we are done with the lips now. Can you all start uh, doing about his hair now? Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. It's not. You spelled mustard wrong. Oh. Okay. And this one is mustard. It's an a. A. Sorry. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. I got one, I can type it in the chat. You can type it in the chat if you didn't get to it. Yeah, I can unmute you, but there's a lot of sound behind you. Um, okay. Um, okay, for, but I got one for the lips. Go on. Uh, the pirate's lips were as red as the insides of a watermelon. That's a good one. Well done. Now find bright some about his hair. Move on to his hair, everyone. Yeah, move on, on his hair. I've got one. I've got something about his hair. I have one. Okay. Okay. Something. Go on. His hair was an enormous bag of tangled snakes. I got one. Okay. I've got one. Enormous bag of hair. And what's next? And none. I got one. I got one. Okay. I've, got I've got one. Go on. I've got one. Okay, right, we're next. <laughs> Wait, someone say. All of them are saying together, I think so. Can I, I say one? one? Can I say one? Yeah, can you say one? Can I say one? Me too. His, his, hair, his hair was as long as a straw. His hair was as long as a straw. Um, his hair was as long as... I've got one. Yeah, go on. As his hair was as wavy as the whiskey wind in winter. I got one. I got one. Okay. Whiskey wind in winter. That's a good one. You guys are really clever. Um, are you using the information in my sentence? That's a good one. His hair is as I'm reading the ones in the chat box. His hair was as black as a dark night. That's pretty good as well. 
to how much space do I have? Okay. Yeah. Try using the chat box. You guys think we have missed anything? Yeah. You can write them in the chat box as well. Everyone can see it there. If you have any more to say, the part we have done is missed here. The shaggy dog. Everything was correct. So in your creative writings, if you guys have to describe this character, oh, you could right. use all these things and wow. describe him because all of you can see there. You can also see what your friends have written. You can take some it's advice beautiful. from them also because they have used really good one. The parrot's hair is as bushy as a bush. So all of you can see how good you are. So should we see what the next next character is? Yeah. His hair is as curly as a mustache. <laughs> okay. this is about this character so let's move on to another one let's see what the next character is what do you think the next character is any ideas you guys have let's see if we can maybe be like it'll be what minions minions personification no personification and literation the okay, next okay. character would be someone i think so you guys might not like it but you might also get the character like that like her also so see the way they have used here this is the way how they have described this man this man see the way they have used the way you guys have done this man anyone wanna, and does anyone want to be this he played football on the football um, team he scored me, like running me. shots this and white blue shoes and we short should, white socks. Wait, should we get them to read it? Yeah, just try to read it. Whoever it. asked to read it can read it. Can I read it? Yeah, okay, go on. Okay. This man was slim and worry and he played football. On foot on football on the football. on the football field he wore white running shorts and white gym shoes and short white socks. His legs was as hard and mm -hmm. as thin as rammed legs and the skin around his calves was almost exactly the colour of mutton fat. The hair on his head was not ginger. It was brilliant, dark, vermilion, vermilion like mm -hmm. a ripe orange. And it was plastered um, back with immense quantities of brilliant, brilliant tin in the same fashion as the headmasters. The parting in his hair was a white line straight down the middle of his scalp. So, so straight it only could have been made with a ruler. On either side of the parting, you could see the comb tracks running back into the greasy, running back through the greasy orange hair like tram lines. Captain Hardskill was never still. His orange head twitched and jerked perpetually from side to side in the most alarming fashion, and each twitch was accompanied 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 by a little by a little grunt that came out of his nostrils so what do you think oh, about no. this character now how this character is they have given you one paragraph and they have told you now you have to think about him as a character how would you describe this character in your own words if you're given this paragraph and they are in the 11 plus and you, and you are told describe the correct uh, sorry describe the character in your own words how would you guys do that is it an interesting character or is it a little boring character how do you think the character is yeah because you're, he's he is slim and very and he played football you know one thing about him he likes playing football yeah and when he was in the football field, what he used to wear? He used to wear a white running shirt and white gym shoes and short white short white oh, socks. So this is something they're describing how he used to dress up. Yeah. So the first three lines in this paragraph is describing his way of dressing up. So like I've given you one example. Can you give me another example? How would you describe this character? 
Anything else about this character? You can, you guys can think and describe about him. Yeah, you can speak. The character is a bit weak and stuff. Sorry, what's that? The character is kind of weak because he's so. Yeah. He's yeah. A bit weak he's Anything slim. else about the character? And they're also telling you about something about this character on the other side. What else did he, uh, uh, does he like? I mean, the character likes something else. Um, he is never still. What do you mean by he's never still? So maybe he is a party person who likes going to the parties and never still. He um, can't be still. Um, he's hyperactive. He's hyperactive. Yeah. Yeah. And there's something describes about his head. Can you all tell me what they have described about his head? Um, it's orange. Yeah, it's orange. And he which was accompanied by a little grin that come out of the so he has some hair coming out of his nose. <laughs> That's something really sick. <laughs> no. So they have also told about the character. You see this line, last line, this one here tells okay. about his nose. See? Um yeah, so he was... I put something. Yeah. yeah, what did he get? He, it, it says that um, by a little grunt that came out of his nostrils, isn't that a personification? Mm, yeah, it can be. Oh. Yeah. That's kind it's of a grunt. grunt. That just means a sound. Like he made a look like he was tired. Oh. The way of describing the sound that he's making. Like, you know when and, you breathe heavy? And, is, and he's also... Um, and they're also telling us in the first paragraph that how his skin color, his like cloud skin color. Yeah. Color of my skin Yeah, it tells you that. What else can you? Uh, they have said about the character. They have said about his the parting in the white lane straight down to the middle of the scrap. So straight, it would only have been made with a ruler. So they told something about his hair. See the way he does his parting. That's so strange. Have you ever seen anyone doing a parting with this uh, with the scale using a ruler? See, have been made with a ruler. He could only have been made with a ruler. So he normally does a parting with a help of a ruler. Okay. So I think you have to use this example to do the next task. So uh, the characters are being created. So this is the way they have given about the character. What else you can see about the character before I move on to the next one? So creating a character, this is the way you all have to create a character if you were given. You all have done that. While you create a character, you have to think about the face. Eyes, nose, mouth, hair, skin. What type of eyes does the character have? blue eyes brown eyes black eyes a different color of eyes and you have to describe the eyes using the similes and things like that and nose you guys did a lot in the previous one the way you described his nose mouth you have done hair you have done skin is something you guys didn't do skin is like telling you what skin color he has light skin dark skin you can also do the texture of his skin yeah mm -hmm. texture of the skin so the next one is body. This is something really, really important. You have to say about the body. How does the person look like in size, uh, shape, clothing, movement? What type of clothes the person is wearing? What shape is, what size is like a middle-aged man? Or uh, his shape is like he's slim shape and things like that. Or fat thing or something like that. Clothing, you can describe his clothes. Like you guys did about the the first one personality is something another important thing you have to think about when you're describing a character because if you don't have the personality of a person you describe you won't be able to know what character you are describing so if i just write about a character without without writing his personality how friendly he was and things like that the best things never use words which are common because in 11 plus they use for words which are different like dislikes qualities example kind thoughtful friends job so you have to think about his personality he's a friendly person 
he's as friendly as a or you could describe something with that how could you describe about his personality another thing is the tone of voice the way the character speaks tone of voice is his volume how does he look he speaks he uh, speaks in an angry voice or uh, laughter voice think of so these are the things you have to think about a character when you do you have to think about these four points when you describing a character you have to keep these points in mind when describing a character so let's see what the next character is this one was i was telling you guys i really like this girl old lady she looks so sad so the next thing is how does the woman feel so you have to think about her feelings do you think the woman feels happy she looks good she looks bad how does she feel this why does she feel this way where has she come from i remember doing a creative writing in you in youtube about this lady and all the uh, children who joined me in that live session they really described her really in a way like oh she's uh, looks like she is living in care home or something her family has left her so she's really sad this is some of the children who did that creative writing online they did that so there were different ways of describing this lady so this lady i'll be sending this uh, picture to you guys so all of you need to write a creative writing and we want your creative writings to be typed so we can give you a feedback if you type it we don't want you to write it we want you guys to type it for us and it's about this lady so you could write how does a, a woman feel like so how does she, you think she is uh, she would feel like how she is another one is why does she feel this way why you think she feels this way she's sad she's upset she looks so sad like mm -hmm. she's so how would you describe her so let's have some examples of you guys describing her and where has she come from so you have to think about where she's come from this is another way of describing a character i've given you some examples what the kids did in the creative writing of this lady before and you all can make your own points so we can discuss we have we still have 9 minutes so if you want we could describe this lady and think about how you guys want to describe her so she, do you want to have some ideas how to describe this lady so just write down your ideas and just tell us we have 9 more minutes we can discuss about this lady this is something i want you guys to do it on your own afterwards also and describe this picture for me and this lady especially this lady so i think people in the chat have written telling by the face the woman is emotional that's true so that's the first point now based on that try to come up with like a story behind it why do you think she's emotional like what do you think's going on so come up with like a story creative writing expand on that yeah and try using what we have been using throughout what we used in the previous characters when we described them try using the four points you have to think about the tone i think her tone would be sad because she's already sad so a person who's looking sad can't have a laughter tone yeah and you also you can factor in her age old people tend to have a different voice so try and describe that because a tragedy happened to her expand on that what tragedy what do you think you have to come up with a whole story for it i remember last time when you know what they wrote in when we did a live for this one on youtube kids wrote that she's very really sad because her family has left her uh, she's lonely her to their home they have left her she's missing her family she's really upset she's sad all and remember in creative writing you have to go beyond what you think what others would be thinking like as a common person i would be thinking or oh, she's sad because she's old if you write that 50% of the people would be writing that so you want your creative writing to be different to have your creative writing different you have to use different things different tones different correct uh, how to describe a character like we told you guys before so try using adjectives in your characters try using similes metaphors whatever we were using and clauses is something they have not told you guys to use but you could also use that different clauses to describe her so this could be really interesting and 
I remember uh, I put something like this in our creative writing book. If you guys want to go for a creative writing book, how to describe characters, we have done in our creative writing book. You could buy that book from Amazon. It's like it's creative writing book for business uh, beginner. Sorry, it's from Eleven Plus Success. Try buying that book because in that book we have told you guys how to describe characters and we have given you a lot of similes and things like that to describe in that book. So we have given you a lot of examples for metaphors, similes in, in our book. So you could take example of that and the book is really easy to buy from Amazon. Just go for it. Because one of our children got lost in the woods. That's quite creative. This woman's sad because one of her children's got lost. Yeah, so come up with um, things that are very creative and then not very common. Like everyone's going to say she's lonely because she's old. But if you come up with like a story that's unusual, then you'll stand out. Your work will stand out compared to everyone else. And you need to be different from others. You don't want to be the same. Because as an examiner, I will be looking for something different. I won't be looking for something, oh, she's an old lady. She's sand. She has white, gray hair. She has gray hair. Uh, her hair are as gray as snow. Has white as snow. What normally it's they not, do? As white it's as very snow. Common. It's very common. Don't use that. What else can you guys use? I'm just thinking. Her eyes. Eyes also look so sad. Overall, she's sad. Maybe she's really sad about her age. That she's old. If everyone's going for sad, then something more creative might be angry. Because she can look a bit annoyed. Yeah. Or she's she lost her dog life. or something and she's angry because of that. And she lives alone. She can't find her dog. That's why she's giving you that look. <laughs> Let's see what they have done here. Okay. This is something they have given you some examples how to describe this lady. So that could be something you guys could do who is the lady where does she live in the countryside in the city where so these are the type of questions you can ask yourself while creating a uh, character for this lady what kind of house does she live in it is a big small old modern warm comfortable or cold um, house yeah, yeah. i've got one okay i actually got two um actually got I've, two <laughs> one in the chat and two is the the old lady's narrow flint eyes were set deeply into the folds fold, folds on her of her skin that's really good that's a very good way of describing wrinkles folds and skin yeah and also you could tell about the family this what we always we told them has she got any family does she have her husband any children any grandchildren does anyone live with her? So these are the questions you can think about it. Has she got any pets? Nobody even said that. <laughs> does she have any pets? What does she do all day? Does she have a job? Have any hobby? Said that she doesn't. That was good. What is she yeah. thinking about? Is she happy, sad, and why? So these are the things you could ask yourself question about, and then you can describe this lady, this old lady. So these are all the things you guys have to do it. We would be giving this to your, I'll be, I'll post this full to your parents, the PowerPoint, what we did today. So you you all can have a look at that when you are described this lady. Yes. Do you want to end on a little game? If you're done, we we'll do something. What's that? Yeah. If we're going to describe that for homework, do you want to end on a little game? What game? If we get one person to think of a character, like we had in this slide here, and describe it, and everyone has to guess what character they're describing. Okay. From a famous TV show or a film. Who wants to have a go? Who says it first? Me. Okay, go on then. <laughs> you said it first. So think of a character in your head, a famous one that you think most people would know. Describe it, and then everyone else is going to try and guess who you're talking about. The last two minutes we've got.
So, um, she's an actress and a singer. And, uh, try to describe her hair in terms of like using some of these articles. Her hair is silver, blonde, and red, also brown. And, um, she knows Italian. That's an idea. Try to describe her using similes and metaphors like we practiced. Um, I've got one. Okay. Um, we don't like this character, but I'm just choosing it. It's the minions. Okay. Okay, say then. Okay. Describe it. Beat her himself. Um, Are we supposed to see your face and see what the character you're describing? Oh no. No. Please describe him then. Um his yellow his his yellow skin was as soft as a a skin of a ban a skin of a banana. That's okay. it. <laughs> more about the it, it, more pan on it. What about the eyes? It's it's a a okay. Should I say it? Yeah. I think it's Bob from Minions. Is that right? Was that right? Un unmute yourself and say is it right or wrong? Is that the character you were describing? No? Okay. I'm going to zoom that it is then. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> that was an easy one. Okay. Okay, guys, we are done for today now. I'll be posting the video, the first thing, after some hours or something, after an hour or so, give us some time. Secondly, we'll be emailing you guys this slide, this PowerPoint, so you can have a look at that and give us our old lady, this poor lady. She wants you to all to describe her. Remember to create your writing based on this picture. Yeah, and please uh, type it, don't and write it. it. Yeah, so we are done for today now. And thanks everyone for coming and I'll see you guys who are coming next week. We'll see you back next week in the morning because we don't have a class in the evening that day. We have in the morning next week. So we'll see you at 11 to 12 next week, 11.15 to 12.15. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. It was so quick and quick. Bye, Rico. You literally just close the tab, the internet tab, to leave. Just press the cross button like you would leave any other site. Okay, bye. Bye. Yeah. Is the tab on the top? Uh, so how do you leave? You know how you would leave any other site on your laptop? Just press the cross button at the top of the screen. Just close the internet. Yeah. But do you want to close the room instead if people can't pick it up? Yeah, I'll do that. Okay.